What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a light dragon showdown for you guys to check out. We got Thunder Dragons at the top, Cyber Dragons at the bottom. Ironically enough, neither one of them are actually dragon archetypes, as uh, Thunder Dragons are th they're thunder based, and obviously Cyber Dragons for the longest time have been machine based, and that's what they're about. Really interesting, man. These freaking fake dragons got dragons in the name, and they're not even dragon types. Thunder Dragons new archetype got a whole bunch of support. This is an interesting build by Team Neg Nine. You smaller youtuber i'll have the uh, link to his channel in the description you guys can check out his awesome card dis uh card discussions oh my goodness i was gonna say card destructions that's a different thing that's banned in the tcg he's running kind of a, a chaos -y theme deal which i'm fine with but there are dinosaurs in here there are light swarms in here there are the little um light and dark dragon like the white dragon and uh i don't know i feel like there's just too much going on in his build personally also it's 49 cards which is just kind of a random number the cyber dragon build is is more just kind of tight knit it's pure 40 cards exactly so i don't know i'd probably lean towards cyber dragons in this tool this is the best out of three by the way all right so cyber dragon core for the plus one emergency cyber for the rota summons a copy of galaxy um soldier cyber dragon birds is going to float as well and he has uh, machine duplication and this is a really good play as he goes for cleave for genius cyber dragon nova activates the effect to get cyber dragon back then he's going to summon in his copy of galaxy soldier and then rank up into cyber dragon affinity and even though he did consolidate his cards into just a couple or really a few monsters on field it's about kind of the quality of the monsters on field palladies cyber dragon affinity cleave for genius this is a really good field he still has five cards I don't even think the power bond is really that much of an issue. Charger Light Brigade for the plus one. Raiden is going to be bounced here. I think that was premature to bounce the Raiden Im immediately. Cyber Dragon Infinity is going to go ahead and negate. I think that might have been premature. And he is going to get bailed out by his copy of Thunder Dragon Fusion. I'm starting to think this is the best card in the archetype because it just like loading your graveyard up with Thunder Dragons is just so stupidly easy. And this lets you put them back into the deck and then get this big ass, you know, 3200 monster. Uh, the Thunder Dragon Lord the card is just fantastic. Especially if you happen to have a Thunder Dragon after you activate Lord or you summon Lord, then it just becomes nuts. His opponent does have pot of desires all right so neg nine is going to uh have to face against a neg nine and i believe he's going to use my favorite mechanic contact fusion let's go that's why i love fusion summoning man hand fill graveyard wherever you can use fusion or you can fusion from anywhere i love that goes into mega fleet dragon that got rid of the lord and now he is going to activate that rota ability that rota ability of the fusion spell is just why that's so good why would you make a rota and a fusion spell but ladies is going to bounce again he's going to activate bolt and he's going to go for bls and some of the monsters are going to straight up die he is going to leave Pallades on field but once i saw the top deck i just assumed the duel was over right here because he did get the um the instant fusion i don't know why i was just thinking oh he's going to instant fusion for thousand eyes restrict suck up bls game over but nope it's going to activate the pot of desires again gonna go for the kaiju contact fuse and then pretty much the game is over i think the second desires was pretty meaningless i mean if he has a thousand eyes restrict the game's just over but maybe he doesn't run it anyways game two I believe Thunder Dragons are starting first. Here's the Dinosaur Engine to get himself the copy of uh, Double Evolution Pill. All right, I believe he's going to activate that after he tries to fix his hand. Has a second copy of Double Evolution Pill. His fixing, his, his fixing the hand didn't really work that well because he has, like, I mean, I don't know. He ended up getting two copies of Evolution Pill, whatever. His um, Conductor Tyranno instantly got kaiju and uh, that was pretty bad cyber dragon hurts is going to activate and he's going to activate the uh, premature burial one as well the uh, cyber rev system and he eats a lot of damage here not quite enough to end the duel he's going to go for infinity after going for nova and yeah he ends up stay uh, basically not dying uh you know just just by the skin of his teeth as they as they say uh goes for a lure of darkness and charge the light brigade is going to be negated I feel like he got baited there by the copy of um by the copy of uh, Cyber Dragon Fusion again or not Cyber Dragon Fusion that, that's a card. that's not a real thing Thunder Dragon Fusion being the card that bails him out second copy of Devil Evolution Pill and I think that it's pretty much impossible for you to top deck out of this situation in Cyber Dragons where your opponent has a Thunder Lord they have Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and Giant Rex and I mean maybe you get Raj Spear Mode or something like that but he's gonna get Red Reboot and that's pretty much a wrap for this duel no wait 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 hold on hold on I forgot he is going to fight back oh my goodness it is possible because you can contact fusion while face down now here's the thing as crazy and unlikely as this seems 
he actually makes a comeback and he should have actually won this duel he summoned cyber dragon seeger now he should have went in the battle phase activated the effect on seeger and then attacked with it people don't realize that as long as this card did not declare an attack you can target it and then you can declare an attack it says if this card did not declare an attack this battle phase quick effect you can target one machine monster you control which means itself with 21 or uh, 2100 or more attack until the end phase it gains 2100 so you just have to target itself but just not declare an attack i think he just he just messed up here and he just rams into the conductor toronto and loses the duel so team neg nine Yu -Gi -Oh! should have lost this duel i mean he wouldn't have done any battle damage but he would have had a seeger and uh team neg nine would have had absolutely no resources to work with so i feel like he probably well no i guess he could have banished um he could have banished his Thunder Dragon Fusion to get a, a search but in general i think he probably would have lost that duel anyways game three I believe Cyber Dragons are going second. You always want to make your opponent go first with Cyber Dragons. And, okay, it looks like um, this duel seems very similar to the last duel, except he is going to go for the Super Bolt Dragon, which is just so dumb and easy to summon in this deck. He does have the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Conductor Tyranno, but I just don't think it's necessary. He is also going to make his uh, his copy of Thunder Lord. He doesn't really have any ways of using Thunder Lord. I just would have stayed with Super Bolt, but it doesn't matter. He gets Contact Fusion. He's going to go for Seeger. He has instant fusion and repair plant and a kaiju. Go for that kaiju. Go for that power bond. <laughs> this guy is going ham and he's going to contact fuse again. And uh, yeah, that is a one shot. Hey, I guess I uh, shouldn't have been talking junk about power bond because it just ended the duel in one single turn. So just a nice little duel for you guys to check out. Hopefully you enjoyed the three. Um, I wonder if I should actually show the deck. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, do, I'll go ahead and show the deck list of, uh, of the, the Thunder Dragon deck. Some people might be interested in that. Okay, so there is a lot going on in this deck, including uh, absolutely no traps. I think the reason that I would not want to run a version like this is I personally believe when you get uh, Thunder Dragon Lord on the field, as you saw in those duels multiple times, I just don't think there's going to be any reliable ways of being able to activate this card, especially during your opponent's turn. Without, I mean, I don't think he can activate this card reliably because he's not running the original Thunder Dragon. He's not running the Thunder Dragon Origin. There are so many cards in the original or in the archetype that you can use to constantly activate this guy's effect to blow cards up on your opponent's side of the field not a hard once per turn keep that in mind that's especially important with the original thunder dragon that it, that's that's kind of like one of the biggest reasons to summon this card is to get it on the field and then blow up a bunch of cards on your opponent's side of the field and not have to worry about them having any resistance but you know when you run so many different moving parts and a light sworn engine and then uh you know white and black dragon engine and then you have to run all the regular dinosaurs and stuff like that that, I kind of feel like your deck gets so cluttered that there's no way you're going to actually be reliably able to get that. He's only running two copies of Thunder Dragon Fusion. I mean, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Dinosaur Engine is good. I think that maybe Dinosaurs and Thunder Dragons could work. I see. I don't. The reason I would have a problem with that is Thunder Dragons and Dinosaurs, other than um, really Double Evolution Pill, what type of synergy do they have at all? Like, I don't. I don't think they really have any synergy, and I definitely wouldn't want to have to you know always use my normal summon on a card like Ovi Raptor because uh the origin can go on link karibo and it could flow for another copy of itself but i mean these are just like these are just first drafts and rough drafts of the deck that people are throwing around so i don't want to demonize these decks or say that any one of them is like perfection or anything like that but these are just some concepts um i, I get how the light sworn version or really running light sworn cards like um you know uh, ride in and charge light brigade gets the thunder dragons in the graveyard for you to be able to ban them and uh, you know then activate their effects when they're banished so i do kind of get those two working together i just don't think dinosaurs and thunder dragons work together at all like these two archetypes i mean yeah dinosaurs are chaos themed i guess like the new ones ovi raptor quote lizard or dark giant rex is earth i believe and you know ultimate conductor uh, tyranno is light i don't get why the dinosaurs are even chaosy i feel like they should all just be earth or something like that but in general i feel like light's worn is probably a better natural fit for thunder dragons and actually, one last thing for anybody making uh, any Thunder Dragon builds that are kind of like hybrid or really for anybody who's running BLS in Thunder Dragons. In fact, I just think maybe any version of Thunder Dragon, I feel like Underclock Taker needs to be in this deck. We saw this at UK Nationals where Underclock Taker was constantly used with um, with Blackluster Soldier to essentially OTK your opponent. BLS is a card that can already do a ton of damage because it has the multiple attacks. If you're using Underclock Taker, you're cutting your opponent's monster down even more 
which means even more battle damage so yeah personally i would not play lanphalinkus because i mean i don't really think that we didn't really see him go into the extra deck at all i really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal i mean yeah he went into with the fusions but it's not, it's not like he was summoning xc or synchro monsters or anything like that so it's not like um you know having multiple arrows pointing down towards you is going to be that relevant i think it's much more relevant to get underclocks effect to potentially be able to otk especially considering if you just look at thunder dragons and this build look at the look at the quality of big boss monsters you have you have ultimate conductor tyranno you have bls you have the um the uh livonia you have obviously these big ass fusion monsters something like underclock that can close a game out rather than just getting land which is probably not going to be that relevant in most situations